Hello and welcome to my channel. Hope you're all feeling strong and well. I'm talking quiet because I'm hoping to see some wildlife today and um, I've brought you to this uh, secluded woodland. I've just heard some shooting going on on the other side of the valley so there's a good chance that the wildlife is going to be driven this way so we might get really lucky today. I've got some time off work so this is actually during the week so it's lovely and quiet. We'll be setting up the trail cam during this vlog at some point but basically it's my uh, my little trips out uh, trying to capture wildlife and at the end of the vlog we'll be picking up the trail cam and seeing what footage we get on that so let's just have a, a sneak around today in fact i've got a good vantage point here i'm going to hang around here a little bit and, uh, and just see what comes my way Okay, I've been hanging around here for quite a while. I'm going to move on um, over this way and uh, see what we can see. I'm sure, I'm almost certain, I just can feel it in my bones. We're going to see deer today. I've got my camera ready. I just feel that these guys, I can hear them shouting over the other side of the, uh, of the valley and, uh, and the gun's going off. Uh, I'm sure that the wildlife is going to come this way. I've just got to be patient. Okay, so no sighting of deer yet. Still hopeful, and I hope you are too. <laughs> Thing is with these wildlife vlogs, it could amount to nothing. <laughs> this is what it's like if you're thinking of uh, getting into wildlife photography or videography. I like the video a little bit more than photography, but uh, I do take the odd snap. Um, but if you're wanting to get into it, most of the time, you don't see what you're looking for, but you see all sorts of other things as well. I'm getting a little bit concerned about my camera. I've mentioned this camera a few times, but it's not waterproof. And the, uh, the rain's just coming down a little bit. I'm sure it's going to stop. The rain wasn't forecast, but it is here. So thankfully the rain has stopped and at this point of the walk every time I've come here I've always seen deer at this point either up there or just over by that gate over there um, just in the distance and I've seen them just trotting off so I'm treading carefully right now The camera seems to have survived the little uh, little shower, hopefully. <laughs> it's always daunting with this thing in the rain. Um, no deer yet. You might be able to hear. You might be able to hear the gunshots. So you might be able to hear the gunshots. I'm still confident that the wildlife is coming this way. It's got to be running away from all that lot. So I'm going to take this, uh, this path up here, which I've never taken before. So uh, this is new to me and you.
Do you know what? This is going to be a great place to put the trail camera out. I nearly forgot that we are putting that out today. So uh, let's look for a good spot to put the trail camera. Them gunshots seem to be getting closer. <laughs> There's no signs out here saying uh, that the shooting in progress. So uh, I think I'm pretty safe here. But they sound quite close. Blimey. I'm gonna take this little route down here. They do shoot around here. You can see the, the markers where, the, where they stand. It's such a quiet day. They're probably quite far away. Fingers crossed. <laughs> found somewhere good to put the the trail camera I was going to put it on this tree here and I might still put it on this tree but uh, I was going to put it facing this way um, maybe to get deer just coming over that little brow there but I've uh, I've just spotted this carcass of a pheasant it might be a pheasant but it's there So just spotted that carcass there. And what I'm thinking is if I move that carcass, it'll be a buzzard I would imagine that's, uh, that's got that. If I move that carcass to this little log here, this old log, if I put it on there and then fasten it to the same tree here, but facing the log, uh, maybe by the end of February, I've got some footage of the buzzards coming back uh, to uh, pick at that carcass. Because I know they, even though that looks really manky, <laughs> they seem to like it. So that's what I'm thinking I'm going to do. Uh, so in a bit of a dilemma, do I want the deer coming over there? I'm going to go for the log. I'm going to put the carcass, the smelly carcass, on the log and uh, put the camera here, see if I can get some uh, great footage of anything that comes and visits this, uh, this carcass, which is down here. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, let's do it. So I'm definitely not picking it up with my, my hands. Oh God, that is nasty. That is nasty. Jesus. Let's put it on there. There's maggots on it. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> so let's have a look. And what I'm hoping is that the buzzard will come and sit on here and uh, pick at it and I'll get some good footage from that tree there. Maybe even closer. So there's the carcass. That was the tree I was going to put the camera on, but I'm thinking that tree will be better. So that's what I'm going for. Let's get the camera put on there. Just not long enough. So the strap's not long enough to go around the base of the tree and I really want a good image from there. So I'm gonna to have to improvise and find something else to strap it to. Well, I seem to have done it. Uh, a little invention with the stones off an old wall there and uh, that should do it hopefully we will be returning at the end of february to see what happens with this old carcass here <laughs> um so uh let's see what i get up to next okay so maybe you recognize where i am i'm at the location where i dropped the uh, trail cam and if you remember it wasn't that long ago was it well it was for me that was the beginning of february we're now late february and i'm coming to pick it up if you remember i uh, 
I put it on a little log, the, the carcass, I think it was a pheasant carcass that I found. And that was inspired by watching some of your wildlife videos where you find roadkill and you put it kind of on a log and uh, see what comes along. So I'm really excited to pick this up and it's up in these woods over there. So uh, we haven't got long to go. I've taken a bit of a shortcut to it today because the weather's not great. There's a little bit of blue sky up there, but um, mostly overcast today. There's a little bit of rain in the air. I'm just looking out, still looking out for deer. There is deer around here, but I haven't seen any. Look at that for a view over the reservoir there. Let's get that old man out of the picture. Is that a bit better? So we're getting close to where the camera is. It's uh, somewhere up beyond that wall there. And uh, not many people walk around here, so hopefully it will still be there. I hope I can remember where it is. Of course I can. Do you know what? I'm not absolutely sure I've got the right, right spot. It might be over this way. Um, yeah, I think it's over that way. I've, uh, I've come the wrong way. <laughs> I think it's up there, up that way, up there. I'm gonna just go up that little bit there because I chose this little marker here. You can just see it down there, the post with the white top. And there is one down that way. Um, so that's how I got it wrong. So let's have a try up here. But uh, a great view. I thought when I came around this corner, I might see some deer but nope. Yes, this is definitely it. So we're up here. Do you know what? I thought I'd put it there. I'm like, I'm like thinking, how could I got this wrong? But I am a bit higher up. It's amazing just looks the same it must be down that way bear with yes i've spotted it already <laughs> already <laughs> been all over the place ah, so it's over here yes the carcass has gone I said that the carcass had gone. That's where I put it. That's where the camera is. And I've just found it here at the bottom of this tree, stuffed right into the bottom of that tree. So it's gonna be interesting footage. Watch it turn out to be a person. <laughs> So it's time to pick up the camera, of course. I can't wait to show you the footage. I can't wait to see it myself when I get back. There is a screen on the camera, but do you know what? I'm gonna try and wait till I get home. And uh, you will see the footage at the end of this vlog. And this is the end of the vlog. And uh, I'm really glad that you stayed with me throughout February. I hope you're enjoying these monthly vlogs. If you are, give me a like, consider subscribing. I upload vlogs, of course, once a month. I don't know where I'll be next time, but I will be in the outdoors, enjoying myself. And I hope you're gonna join me. So until the next one, bye.